Okay, welcome back to Mario Sunshine. Uh, last time I fi I believe we went through Serena Beach with the hotel shenanigans and whatnot, and now we're going to go through Noki Bay. So, um... Gosh, there's... Lots of things. Yeah. Kind of kind of uh, reminiscent of uh, getting to um, the wing cap secret stage in 64, how you get to this place, which is kind of cool. Nice little uh, callback to that, I guess. But, um... Yeah, the whole gimmick of this world is that the whole place is poisoned, and uh, your, your goal throughout this is just to figure out the cause of it, and eventually uh, make the water clean. <coughs> so... Just gonna try and grab some of these blue coins like normal. Yeah, this is a very, um, very calming kind of level. I think this is the first time we've seen, we've seen these boats. And it's a good thing we, uh, learn how they work now, because in the last world, there's, um, a much dangerous, um, a much more dangerous area you have to use them in. We can really need them. <laughs> I don't think there's blue coin there. And I think it's you. There might be a blue coin down here. Yeah. I wasn't sure if I was going to take damage if I went down here though. And then there's this this guy. Is that a real fish or like a paint fish? Ah. Um. <laughs> could be either or. Ah. Well, it's not fun going underwater. <laughs> Cause like. That's the, the furthest you have to ever swim down, and um, it's kind of scary. Well, actually, no, I tell a lie that you do you do have to sw swim down further, but uh, you get a helmet which uh, increases your the amount of time you can stay underwater, and there's a bunch of coins there too, so it's not that big bigger than of a deal. Alright. I don't know if it's available now, but I know there's a secret bird shine just around her. Yes, yeah, this. Haven't had one of these in a while. Do you, uh, so do you know do you know much about uh, Noki Bay? Nope. Oh, okay. It's a weird level entrances. Yeah, I think there was just like it makes me wonder where some of the cut levels would have been if they were still in the game because it, it, looking around. Like, it feels like the pr this our Delfino is pretty filled up as it is. So either, like, they just had to uh, slight size down our Delfino a bit, or there's just something I'm unaware of.
But yeah, this is, um... This world is probably the closest you get to something like a TikTok clock or Rainbow Ride in the sense that you have to platform your way up. But I think the main... What makes this work and what makes TikTok clock annoying to play is the fact that there's, um... There's not only just one way to go up uh, this place, there's uh, quite a few, and it it rarely tells you to do it the same way each time. It, it doesn't, it also doesn't take nearly as long, whereas like TikTok Clock is, um, like TikTok Clock especially is like, like basically just one specific way to go about it. And it's like a marathon every time, and it just kind of drags. So it, it yeah. Ugh. It's been a while since we've seen the fruit roll of colored paint, have, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think something like TikTok Clock would work better in a, something like Mario World, where you don't have to play the stage over and over again to get everything. My 3D World or just 90s Mario World? I guess both, really. Alright, I need to try and get this. No! <laughs> there we go. And then there's that. Because <laughs> they like to be oh, jerks. dead. Yep. They like to do so, like some tricks like that in this world, in this place. Just to troll you, I guess. Yeah. I remember some blue coins being kind of tricky to find here, so I'm going to want to look around a bit. The rocket nozzle does help. It's probably your best bet in this world. Well, even the <laughs> It's so weird. I'm not sure if this, these flowers do anything. Yeah, this 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 guy again. Not much to say about this. This also has one of the more fun 100 coin missions, but we'll get to that soon enough. Shine last after we got all the blue coins. Uh, well, how, how many? Well, how many were in episode one? Twenty. Twenty. Oh gosh. Okay, so we got quite a few. Five. All right. I think most of them are probably going to be over her. Wait, is this actually open? Nah. The rocket nozzle for several of them. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. Actually, there should be a blue coin near where the gold bird was. Okay. Well, I know there's a few over here. 
actually suffer fall damage from that. Yes. Kinda stupid. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, that's another one. God, before they hide that. To be. <clears throat> oh, yeah, you should have passed. You should have, um, you should have found. Hmm. I think they close some areas off until later. No. Yeah, you get a lot of wall jump, wall jumping out of this place as well. Cause uh... You don't really do it, you don't really need to use it that much in the regular levels. Alright, just be careful. There we go. Still no idea how I'm taking damage from that, but whatever. Oh, I see one up there. Oh. <laughs> Okay, let's get the rocket then. So I guess um, uh, in terms of just like re what recent things have been going on, you you've uh, recently finished the uh, the insane trilogy. So uh, got anything uh, to say about that? Was never good and never can be good. <laughs> oh no, it was good. It was good. The, the cold hard crash facts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, kill me. Killing yourself soon? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I need water badly. Uh. If I'm lucky, these guys will uh, give me a thing. Yes. Yeah, I think it's just, yeah, I think it's just those um weird Goomba-like enemies. They they the, they work the closest. Goomba is the closest to uh, comparison. Uh. Sometimes they'll give you some uh, water bottles. I think I don't know if it's randomized, but it feels like it. But yeah, were you, are you saying anything? <clears throat> oh my! It was an enjoyable run. Hmm. Oh, crash 2 and 3 were anyways. <laughs> crash 1 is just Crash 1. <laughs> now with better save time. Better save mechanics, so that's something. Yeah. Uh, oh my. The game is pretty... Weird. Yeah. Happens when you get a budget for the next game. Yeah. Decent, um, uh, oh, is it? 
Oh crap! I think I think it was just the game. I thought, um, I think my game just froze. My. Oops. Is a really good is a really good thing that they make you save after. Yeah. Blue coin, right? Um. Well, I've I haven't been saving blue coins. I've only been saving the shines. So. Well, Dang it! Then. We'll be right back, folks. Dang it! Okay, I, I, uh, restart- I started the recording again, so... And we're back, folks. Yep. Uh, yeah. let's see... Yep, we're gonna have to get all those blue coins again. Dang it. Uh, could've been worse, I guess. But, um... Yeah, I'll try to sa- I'll, I'll try, try to save more often with the blue coins and whatnot, because... Ugh. Kinda sucks, because uh, this game has never crashed on me before, so... Yeah. Crash when we talked about crash, I think. Yeah, probably. Saying it's like, I'm not saying it, it happened, I'm not saying it's because of that, but... You know. <laughs> I mean, considering, like, uh, we did Crash 4... Uh, well, the last big game we did was Crash 4 anyway. Because uh, uh, Sonic R only took two parts. Um, I guess... Because uh, that playthrough was also was just like really cursed with like all the all the weird loading screen bugs and freezing on us and whatnot. So I don't That's know. Horrifying. What was up with that playthrough, dude? <laughs> that was a fail. Yeah. Sixth generation consoles just hate me for some reason. I mean, technically, I'm using a 7th gen console for this, but still. It's my Wii. Yeah. <laughs> would you even? What would you even consider like the current gen con? The current gen systems, because it's like. It's like this. The Switch. Uh, the the Wii U. PS4 and the Xbox One were all in one generation, and um, Nintendo are already on their next sister, like their next system with the Switch. But Sony and Microsoft still have their current ones. So, like, what would you even consider this generation right now? You're trying to start a flame war in the comments, aren't you? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't really care. Like, I mean. Until Nintendo says otherwise, I will consider the Switch a ninth generation system. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Would you consider, like, the, uh, Xbox One X and, uh, PS4 Pro, like, 8.5 generation, or, like, actual ninth cons gen consoles? Probably not ninth gen consoles. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They're just, they're like, they're no more... And then the Sega 32X. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. I guess it's just like something like the new 3DS on a bigger scale. And the new 3DS had more actual exclusives than the PS4 Pro. <laughs> That's true. I, I, I mean more so in just general raw power. But... Yeah. Uh, if they do, if they end up actually doing a Switch Pro, like a lot of people think, at some point, I kind of hope they don't do exclusives because that would be a massive pain in the neck for a lot of people. So I, I, I yeah. As powerful as they want, and third parties will still ignore. So. Yeah, I mean, I suppose. No, might just be wasting their time there. Yeah. I mean the. I, I generally just want slightly, like, sm smoother frame rate, or like, uh, I don't know. Eight more blue coins. Eight more, eight more blue coins. Save next for the next one you get. All oh, right. Okay. Oh, well, this is this is new. Okay, Mario, please. Wait, 
Wait, no, that's back there. Oh, that might be one. Yay! Very clever for use of the question marks. Yeah, actually, actually kind of helps. I can just... Kind of annoying that Mario's not grabbing the edge, but... Save. Okay, we're fine now. It's a crash again. <laughs> It just crashes immediately. <laughs> ah! Okay. Where did that not cause fall damage? <laughs> it was weird. I yeah, like it's like I don't know. Oh wait, did it? Did we? Do we still have the one for, we got underwater? I don't. Um. I think we did that before we got the shine, huh? Yes, yes you did. Okay. Just want to make sure. And I know there's what the one we were trying to get earlier was in that area. Oh yeah, we still need to get the one with the M graffiti. And there's a, like, a oh. sister blue point for that as well. Okay. I was trying to look around for some graf M graffiti, but I couldn't see any, see any around. Supposed to be near the cliff with the gold bird. Oh, okay. It'll probably be easier. Okay, I think I know where it is. It's like, I think it's supposed to be like really high up or something. Alright, so... Ooh. Painting is shaped like a dolphin. Yeah, just clear this place up a little bit. Let's do this first, because it's one of the more scary things to do. Alright, just be careful. Because you don't want to keep shimmy along for uh, too often, because uh, Mario will get tired and just fall. Jeez. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's not fun. This, is, this area is primarily for blue coins though, so you never really have- you never actually have to do this for a shine or anything. So take that for what you will. Alright. Never know where our secret wall will be, so just spraying. Okay. Now please don't be stupid and crash again, please. Alright, cool. Alright, five more. Okay. Now I just get a rocket and hopefully we'll be able to reach the others. Yeah, just just touch like the really shallow end of the water right now. If you touch any of the poison stuff you will take damage. Alright. Nope. Also, I think I was uh, slightly wrong about uh, how the airstrip is opened up. I think what happens is uh, you have to enter Corona Mountain. You don't have to necessarily like fight Bowser or even go to the to the boss. You just have to enter Corona Mountain at all, and once you exit it, then the airstrip will be available. So. Um. So it's kind of weird, if that's the case, but we're, go we're gonna have to uh, enter Corona Mountain to get some blue coins anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Because I'd like to have all the shines before we fight Bowser. Oh, spoilers, Bowser's the final boss. <laughs> if you didn't know, if you didn't know. Because, <laughs> uh... You know, what a surprise. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. So how about that Mario Maker 2, eh? I... This Pe why do Peach and Daisy get ignored in the platformers? <laughs> hmm. They have their models in Super Mario from Super Mario Run now, so... Hmm. Oh, yeah. I know how the curse was with Peachette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... They, they probably could have just added in Peach and Daisy as playable characters or something. That would have been cool. Oops. Oh, wait. I forgot about that one. Dang it. No. Oh, well. We have to go back here anyway. But yeah, I'm looking forward to Mario Maker 2 because um, they're adding a lot of new things. It makes like it makes the original look really small compa in comparison, which I guess is what a sequel is supposed to do, but it's insane. Okay, where do I go from here? Left. Oops. You're supposed to use hover, not the rocket for the ever. Oh. Run. Hmm. I think I'm... Okay, it's like... Oh, I see. I can try and make this work somehow. No. Dang it. Wait. Oh, I see one up there. Where's this guy? What should just... It'd be funny if we just end up getting the 100 coin shine by complete accident. Oh. Hello. Then there should be a... Hmm. There wasn't a sister blue coin for that, never mind. Oh, uh, okay. That's fine. Um... Three more. Three more. Okay. So I saw one earlier. I think four. Kind of a problem is that uh, you don't have many places to refill your water when you get high up. Now besides that one blue coin up there, I don't know where the other two would be. No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good thing we're getting twenty out of the way though. should be one near the purple conch shell. Oh. They hover for that. Um, I'm going to cross the purple conch shell atop the seashell spire to the blue coin in the left or west cliff. Hmm. Alright. Oh, I so should probably... The, water... hmm. the one near the water wheel. Stand on the thin ledge between the water... the top... between the top water wheel and the cliff. And spray the cliff at the far end of the inner rim. Hop over over the secret alcove. Let's do that. Oh crap! All right, that's that's fine. I think I need. I think I should go get hover because that is way too sketchy with rocket. So it's like the somewhere near the conch shell. Actually, uh, just get a better view. Hmm. 
Should probably use it for this actually. Yeah. We're gonna need hover oh. to get to the blue coin. Oh, huh. Wonder how long wonder how that's gonna work then. Get some coins to refill. Okay. Hmm, I just realized that I like how these uh, platforms are like uh, a dolphin, because they, you know, like GameCube uh, code name and all that. It's called Al Delfino. They don't really have any dolphins here. You know, that's a good point. Huh. Kind of, kind of funny how that works. The one Mario game that takes place on a tropical island would have the dolphins somewhere. Yeah. I like dolphins. I mean, they, they appear in Mario World, so it's not like... Uh, they don't exist, so... I still feel bad knowing that Yoshi can eat them. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I think... Isn't the... Wasn't the American version where they cut that out, or was that Japanese? Super NES, for the Super NES version they cut it, but... It's okay. in the Game Boy Advance version which I played the most. Oh, okay. Yeah, I heard about that. That's just, like really. Like, what? I don't. I wouldn't want to do that. We. Hey, you go up here for the hundred coin shine, I think. Um, wait. Let's see. Just so you'll get. I think I see it way oh. over there. Oh. <clears throat> nope. Oh, no, you're top. Protruding pillar, go to the cliff, the tavern entrance from there. This is really pre precarious. Oh crap. You can probably reach it from this. That's a very sneaky one. Okay, just two more. Okay. As you go between the cliff and the top water wheel. Oh, there's more things. Okay, I think I know what to do. Might have to kill some more of those uh, enemies. Oops. There we go. Being generous today. Yeah, there's like a little section down there. There we go. And the last one's like at the end. Ooh. Thin ledge described above, spray, the, spray in a corner of the cliffs along the lower rim. Yeah. 
There's a lot of uh, random secret part passages in this place. And we got so many coins w without even trying. Damn, uh, couldn't we just jump on those enemies repeatedly until they... I mean... The, the not Goombas, can we just jump on them repeatedly until they produce enough coins to get to 100? Uh, the Goomba enemy... I, I mean, like, the, the spiky rolling things we could probably do that for, but the Goomba enemies never drop coins, I don't think. Oh. We can try. I, I don't know if they, these things stop producing coins though. I don't even know how to make them drop coins to begin with. Hmm. I guess we. We could probably, like, look over in the. Get some of these. So like, we're, like, pretty close. I, I never get 100 coins in. Episode 1 here, but we're so close right now. May as well, I guess. Episode 6 is said to be the best one. Yeah, that's probably... I think episode 6 is when uh, the water gets uh, clean. And that's like... When that happens, you get like a huge line of coins. You just use the turbo nozzle for. It's like actually one of the more fun bunch of coins to get. But if that's faster, then I guess we can just leave. Uh, do you, do you want to just leave? I'd better just not subject the audience to this. Okay, fair enough.